Hello, Gary Simon here of designcourse.com. Today we're going to look at creating a 3D balloon type of effect using Photoshop CC's 3D tools. So this is going to be a real quick basic beginner type of tutorial when it comes to 3D. And in the future I'm definitely going to get a little bit more in depth. But for now we can create a really cool captivating sort of image just using the very basic 3D functions. So basically if you need access to the final project files for any reason uh, they're available for free in the description below this video. Uh, so also check out designcourse.com if you haven't yet and subscribe here on YouTube. All right, let's get started. All right, so let's go to File, New, and we'll just name this Balloons. I'm going to use a width of 860 by 5 or 600, which works well with my resolution uh, for recording. And then everything else can remain the same here. And hit Control or Command 1 to go 100% view. And we'll fill in the background color with a light pink, like that. All right. So now we want to take the pen or the type tool rather, and just type in balloons. You can use whatever text you want. And I want to change this color here. Just a, a color around here. You can use whatever color you want as well. It's not really important. So Control T with that Move tool, hold Shift and left click and drag that out. So I'm using a font called Arista Extra Full or Filled. And I'll link to that in the um, description of this video. All right, so now what we want to do is right click and convert to shape. All right, so we take this direct selection tool. Now you see we can actually work with these a little bit. Uh, so what I want to do is take each one like that. And then you can hit Control T and rotate it slightly and reposition it like that. And then select the uh, direct selection tool again, hit apply. And you can do this for each one of these or just every other. All right, so I'm just making slight variations. And I'll take the S at the end. Yeah, maybe right there. Okay. All right, so if you hit Control H, get rid of those, uh, the outline. So now what we want to do is go to 3D and a new 3D extrusion from selected layer. All right, so now things have changed. Uh, the move tool no longer uh, works as it normally does because now we are, we're working with a 3D object. So over here we have this 3D panel and then the second icon show all 3D or actually the third one this is where we can adjust the material. So if we click that we can make this shiny and, and you know make all those adjustments but I forgot first we need to go over here and double click on it and shape presets the one that kind of works well for our intended purpose for making a balloon shape is this one right here all right so let's close that out we'll go back over here to the materials so the materials this is where you can really control how, how this thing reacts uh, and it looks down the actual surface so i uh, the shine you can increase that. The reflection, that really gives it a interesting sort of feel. The roughness. So this is a lot more glossier on this end. Bump, opacity, and refraction, we're gonna leave there. And also you can do other cool stuff too, like environment. If you hit load texture and you just load up any like image of like an outside scene, it will kind of show reflections based on that. Uh, but I'm just going to keep it simple for now, just like this. All right. And then what I want to do is go over here to layers. And if I right click this, 
and hit render it will start rendering the actual scene once you have everything you know basically how you want it so mine's at what 14 percent 20 percent i'll just pause this until it's done all right and this is it basically rendered and by the way i really didn't explain you know where are these light sources coming from back in the 3d view you have the ability ability to edit an actual light texture and so this is a kind of the default one uh but yeah that's for another tutorial this is meant to be kind of a quick beginner's intro to 3d so basically now what we can do is right click and Let's see here, rasterize to 3D. So now it becomes just something that we can edit like any other normal Photoshop layer. And now I uh, just another added effect to make this look kind of cool. What we can do is, let me zoom in here. And I'm just gonna take the lasso tool and go around a few of these letters. Hold shift. to add to the selections. I think I'm just gonna take three of the layers. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is hit Control C and then hit the delete key and then Control V to paste right in. So now those three letters are on all uh, the same layer basically. So now I, I'm gonna to link also to these cloud textures. So if you take the brush tool uh, and load the cloud textures in, and I'm going to link to a, a site that has a link to a bunch of different resources for downloading these custom brushes, these cloud brushes. So once you uh, load them up, you'll see you know a bunch of them here underneath the default brushes that come with Photoshop. And I have a bunch of fire ones, and so that's what you're seeing here. So let me scroll up here. And so this number beneath it, that means like the highest, uh, the size of the actual brush. And so in terms of pixels, so if you bring it over here, you can kind of see what it might look like. Uh, actually, those aren't clouds. This is, okay. So basically take your foreground color and make it white. And then in between these two layers, control shift N for a new layer, rename it to clouds, hit enter. And now if you do this, you kind of make a cool effect that kind of makes it look like they're ascending into uh, clouds. So I don't want that. I'm going to back up real quick. I'm going to make this the size a little bit smaller. I kind of want to make them look like, like a lot bigger than actual clouds. And also, if you want, you can reverse these layers. So take this one, put it down here. All right. So that looks kind of cool. You can just play with it by, you know, just Control-Z or Edit Undo to really get a cool effect. Uh, so let me continue on, maybe choose a different variation of a cloud. And maybe just one more. That's pretty subtle. And so if I take the eraser tool, get rid of these ones down here. Oh no, I added that on to the wrong layer, didn't I? Oh well, let me back up real quick. Yeah, got to actually select the right layer, don't I? I? Put one up there. And it's probably a good idea to put them on their own layers as well. So let me come back down. You can always just drop down to size. Take one more. Control Shift N for a new layer. And that one works pretty well. All right, and then if you wanted to, of course, you can take this background, you can create a gradient out of it. Um, let me see here. Make the preset transparent, or solid to transparent, or foreground transparent, basically. Uh, if we get the background color maybe go a little bit darker control shift then for a new layer you can either do this I like that better makes the cloud stand out a little bit more all right and that is it very simple I 
I'm actually really interested in getting uh, a little bit more involved in the Photoshop 3D stuff and I uh, because there's so much to it uh, that most people just don't know about. So in the future, I'll be doing more of these, probably a lot more complex uh, and interesting. So, But uh, as it stands on and on, this looks pretty cool. So hopefully you learned something, and uh, check out designcourse.com if you haven't yet, and subscribe here on YouTube. All right, goodbye.